Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. My name is Spange and I am picking up right where we left off in the last episode, which is, you know, in the, in the bowels of the radar station here. And we're about to go through this teleporter and probably get one shot in the face by a shotgun Xerox. So let's see what happens. Um, I have actually, in the meantime, dropped off all the stuff that I did pick up, um, apart from, you know, some supplies and stuff. So if I do die, it's not the end of the world. Let's see where this takes us. Oh god. Oh god. All right, okay. This is interesting. We are now quite high up in the sky in the sky. Um bloody hell. Where the hell am I? Am I I think I am on the, the square floaty thing that we saw from the ground in the last episode. It's a great view from up here, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so this place looks like it's taken a bit of a hammering. I'd say. I'm not sure. I've never done this before, so I'm not sure which way is best. There's a gravity generator here. Yeah, a lot of the windows seem to have taken um, some hits. What is that noise? I see some. The hell are they? What are those? What the hell are they? I've not seen them before. They look they look like kind of tanks roaming inside a base. That's crazy. <clears throat> you want you want me to kill those? That is crazy. <laughs> Let's see what we can do then, I guess. Wait, where does this go? Does that go anywhere or does that just drop off to that just drops off to nowhere? Oh crike. Crikey. To be careful here. All right. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what sort of damage these little robot things do. I don't know how they take pretty much a whole clip. Those guys there take a whole clip. But these guys, I've never killed one of these before. What? Okay. That's good. They don't shoot when you shoot them. That's good news. I'll have that jetpack boost, thank you very much. Good, okay. I can deal with that. So as long as they don't take me completely by surprise, I should be able to... Oh my lord. All the things making noises and, and spawning, I assume, is what's going on there. Oh yeah, I'll take the bullets though, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Hello. Oh, crikey, this is going to be interesting then. See, like a little laser clipping through the thing here. There's a spawner right there. No, I don't know where I'm getting shot by. Okay, I see it. Cheeky! Oh, hello. That's where I'm getting that. Those, those lasers are coming from. It's a journey of. Oh my god, there are robots everywhere! <laughs> this is interesting. Alright, let's just clean these guys up. Take that spawner out. Any more spawners? I don't think so. So this is called the Zenu mainframe, I guess, because this is very mainframe-esque looking and Looking like a mainframe. Well, you guys will have a spawn pad around here, I'm assuming. Right there. 
Nice to know you don't move far from it. Is that a core? No. I'm sure if I really want to take the core out of something that's floating. Plus also I need, do need to get back down to the ground, so I'm, uh, I'm guessing I don't really want to kill the core. Might be there. Core alien faction. Yeah, as you place the sort of crosshairs right between the two blocks, you can see alien core admin. Admin core, so I can't actually kill it anyway. That's actually, uh, that makes sense actually, yeah, because uh, the symbol on the map is, is the admin chevrons. Fair enough. Okay. So we just need to figure out um, where to go from here, which I'm assuming is down. What up? Up or down? Ah, oh, on it. Look, it's really difficult to tell actually. I think it's just down. Oh. <laughs> Crap. They're all over there. Oh god, there's things everywhere. Okay. Let's uh oh, take that out. Grab that gold. That's nice. Nice use of the stair blocks here. <laughs> Clever. I'm going to need to use a med pack here, I think. <clears throat> Relatively soon. I don't want to be caught. Thankfully, there doesn't appear to be any Xerox up here. Only, only um, robots. Which suits me just fine. Take that out. Marvellous. Oh, and all the effects, noise effects seems to have stopped. Now, ooh, I wonder what that does. Switch lever. That's interesting. That's my view. And then... <laughs> Wall hack. Shoot around corners. That's neat. All right. Well, we do need to get those ones. Right, there's some spawners around here that I need to deal with. Oh, I thought they were sat on top of it. They are sat on top of it. That's what I'm trying to shoot. Not really working. All right, cool. Uh, ooh, okay, these look like some kind of missile type things. That's interesting. With uh, anthrax symbols on them. Chemical, biological warfare. You cheeky bastards. That is not cool. Alright, did I actually... Uh, I need to activate download. Activate the download. I'm guessing that might be what that switch does then. Um, so let's go and... Give that switch a go. I'm just gonna loot. Gonna loot. Oh, I love that. Tasty. They're hard to come by those things. Loot, 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 and more loot. <sighs> a fine pentaxid, a drill charge. Yeah. Alright. So what happens when I pull this? Is something gonna come out? Are you like invisible spawners or something? <laughs> I'm just fully expecting some kind of trap. Alright, fine. Get over. Get over. Alright. Da da da! You actually found the missing data from the Titan! Hurrah! The logs reveal that the enemy the UCH fleet was facing is the so called Xerax Empire. They seem to have waited at the exit point of the fleet and directly attacked the vessel without warning those swines. The Titan and other ships were lost in that battle. Those that did not crash on the planet due to the gravity might still be in orbit. You really need to find them anytime soon, as you found out something even more disturbing. 
Recalculating the timestamps of the log entries, there is a strange discrepancy to your suit's internal systems. While you started on your journey in 2473, this is not 2473, but if the calculations are correct, 2483, 10 years after the fleet dispatched for Andromeda. Uh, the turbulence is when leaving upon station, the failed experiment, the alien troops infesting the space station, the fighting you faced until you managed to escape to hyperspace, the fleet ambushed and its survival at least questionable, as well as the time that has passed. All these events seem to be interrelated. What has gone wrong? Did the sample from the station's engine room cause all of this? Maybe the experiments that were going on in the station. Cake-eating scientists accidentally screwed up the whole mission. Maybe all this happened on purpose. One riddle solved. A new one found. I refuse to say that word. All right. <laughs> now what? All right, the uh, the PDA says done. Uh, yeah, story complete. Robinson Protocol done. We can go on to um, other missions now, like delicious eating greens, which involves you know berries, plant protein, and stuff like that. And these these occasionally give you some rewards and stuff. These are all right. They give you ten gold coins, or two emergency rations. Clans of Akua is interesting because Akua no longer exists outside the multiplayer server. Um, activating mission requires completion of bad karma. Huntsman. Elemental enemy. You get the idea. So you got all these other ones that you can do uh, as well. Drone Hunter. That's a good one. And you get an enhanced minigun. 250 minigun rounds which lasts all of about 3 seconds. And 40 gold controls. Pure epic nurse. Complete. Complete complete this mission by finding and equipping one of them your reward depends on what you will find one of them pure epicness uh, find and equip enhanced weapon find an enhanced weapon in one of the larger alien POIs find a purple container pick up the enhanced weapon and equip it into your toolbar but the thing is with that it's all very well you've got to activate it you've got to activate it before you do that because quite often I just wander around like a POI and go oh purple container yay um, and you know, pop that into the action bar and off I drop. Which is great. How did I miss you? Wait, I haven't been here before. This is. This is the upper floor. Ah! So that's what I was getting confused about because looking up, it doesn't. I, I can't. Depth perception failure! There are some loot containers here, so maybe I'll get an epic weapon here. It's fine. Hmm. Any more sentry guns? Fancy a little. Fancy a little go. Where am I getting shot? For? Oh right, you. The um, yeah. The the they need to do some work on the sound direction. Sound sound directioning. The directions of soundening. You know what I mean. What the bejesus, that was a different sounding thing. Well, yeah, you, why have you got a different sound? Is it because you're far away? Nah, I don't need that. I can take it. My heavy armor's good. Heavy armor's good for the time being. You can be quite casual in heavy armor, you just stroll along. Yeah, what? What? Is what's shooting me? Something, oh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, rare container. Right, I might activate that mission then, just in case I come across a purple one. I don't think I will actually, I think that's all of them, isn't it? There's a hidden one somewhere. See? Right. There was an epic weapon. So, if I activate the mission, find and equip an enhanced weapon, enhanced minigun. Ta-da! And it all drops onto the floor because i got no room. <laughs> ah, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. Screw it. Drop the uh, 50 gold. What we need to do is we need to put something in the factory. Like um, a capital ship. Something big and stupid, you know. Like the Naginata. That's big and stupid. Pop that in the factory and then I can just start chucking stuff like this in there. And I'm not going to need that. 
I'm not going to use that. I don't need two pulse rifles. I've got a minigun now. I shouldn't have got both. I shouldn't have got rid of both of them. Oh, I hope there's no more enemies <laughs> to take out because I've got no minigun ammo. <laughs> I have 350 rounds. So if I do come across some nasties, I have to take them out in 350 rounds. Well, what are you? You're a laser rifle, aren't you? Oh, okay. I have got 200 laser rounds as well. I didn't, I didn't completely screw myself there. It's fine. All right. That's good. So there we go. We just completed another mission and we got um, some coinage for it, which is nice. So what else are we possibly going to come across? Custom tours, find special POIs, the black alien towers, unknown artifacts, abandoned buildings and crash ships. I mean, we could have done with activating that one before the Robinson Protocol, really. Man on the moon, destroy one, and one moon base. That's a good one to do. That's a good one to do. That was nice and easy. Uh, defeat alien bases, epsilon bases, enemy bases, ghost rider base, and radar space. So that will that's quite difficult to do because all of those are on different planets. They're all on different planets. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll we'll try and remember to to do these missions as I go through the game. No promises though. You know what I'm like. Okay, this is good. I think we're done here. Funny green triangle bits aside. Um, yeah. Seems to be all she wrote. So let's go down one level. And let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything I missed. Of course, if I didn't miss anything, let me know in the comments. And I'll be sure to come back here off camera or something and uh, take, a, take a gander. Oh, that is glass. I can't actually... I thought that was a little... A little up way, but it ain't. Alright. Oh, God. How scary that is. Definitely wasn't anything up there that I missed, was there? Drone! A lot of you were saying in the comments, why don't you use your drone more? Because I forget that I've got it. <laughs> Most of the time. Oh, look at this! Little hover engines. That's some serious hover height. Is that what requires a floating POI? That can't be it. Why have you put hover engines in there? They've got to be just decorative, right? Got to be all crap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. The game does try and warn you when you're losing contact with the drone. I tend to just ignore it and uh, do what I want. Yeah, there we go. I don't think there's anything dashed on the outside of this. So, uh, there we go. That's, that's the big square weird thing in the sky. Let's get back to the radar station, pop the core, um, and then take it apart. Because one of the things that was oh so graciously given to me, um, this isn't the teleporter I started in. Uh, one of the things that was so graciously given to me uh, was a multi turret. So, yeah, this thing can be disassembled rather quickly. My heavy armor is still looking pretty good, pretty good. Very nice and tidy. There is, however, one other part of the, uh, uh, the the base that I haven't cleared out yet, and I think in the last episode I said there was nothing there. There is, there is definitely something on this level here, including bad guys. This is probably a really bad idea because I've only got 350 rounds. Hello. <laughs> Hello? As soon as I start shooting, they're both going to come around a corner at me. Let's get rid of the spawners. Close the door. Oh, I am such a trickster. Hi! Bit of lag. Quite a lot of lag actually on that one which was strange wardrobe lovely oh yeah there are some ziri axes i've got a minigun too yeah let's have a minigun off <laughs> yeah all right there we go I think that's it now. Oh yeah. 
Oh, easy. Easy, tiger. Well, you guys are useless. You didn't even, like, shoot at me until I started shooting you. Call yourself sentry guns. Rubbish. Right, yeah, there's nothing else up there. It just goes to the roof. So there we go. Uh, that, I believe, is the entire POI cleared of baddies. Um, so yeah, I can tear us apart now. Which will be interesting with the multi-turret. Let me just offload some stuff. I don't have all that much space left to offload stuff into. But things like this I can chuck into the factory. Things like this can go in there. That is what I'm going to need. I'm going to need that. I'm going to keep that on me. That I don't need. That can go in the constructor. There anyway, you get the idea. There we go. Eat that. Need that. Keep hold of that. Don't really need the coffee anymore, but I don't think I've got anywhere to put it. That's a passenger seat. There we go. Oh yeah. No, not the C4. The injection. There we go. Right. Not the laser rounds either. Alright. Okay. So, with the multi-turret, first of all, I've got to find where I put it. There it is. That wasn't too bad. Secondly, quite easily, remove this from there pop you there lovely jubbly pop into the old driver's seat again into the old p menu scroll to the bottom of the devices and double click that multi turret and go to town on this hang about there's something i'm not doing i've forgotten entirely how to play this game <laughs> I need a goddamn core. I need to go place a core. Because it won't let me. Um, it won't let me take it apart until I call the damn thing, will it? Duh. Gah. I got excited. I got overly excited. I thought I was done. You know, it was all good to go. And no, 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 no. Spanish need to kill the core. All right. I'm on it. Just hope I don't run into any bad guys that I've forgotten to kill down here. I don't think I have. And I've looted all of this, haven't I? No! I definitely looted this stuff. Oh, I didn't loot all these boxes down here, actually. Once I put a core in it, I can use the P menu to access all the boxes. Bad guys. La, uh, uh. Access those. Didn't access you. Or you. Oh, a fusion cell. Cheeky monkey. That's the point, because this is obviously underground, so I'm not really sure how much I can do once I take the top layer of the base off. How much I can do with the multi turret in the position that it's in, or whether I'll need to do some jiggery pokery. Um, and that's a technical term for it, by the way. You know, all builders use that term jiggery pokery to you know position the turret in a slightly different place probably inverted so i can shoot it down into the chasm that will no doubt be created by taking the top of this thing off um and recycling it look at all the loot oh the loot is delicious yeah i haven't done all this i think this is probably the only ones that i haven't done i think we're trying to think back I don't think I left anything else lying around. I like how these guys are floating, though. Good effort. Defying gravity like that. Fair play. I got all those. They're all gone. No cheeky shotgun Xerox on here. Definitely got you. Here we go. We just slip the old C4 charge underneath. <laughs> such, such a cheeky way of doing it. I mean, I think placing the C4 charge, it, it, it would have um, it would have blown it up anyway, even if you placed it on that armor block. So it's it's fine. But there we go. That should be oh easy. That should be the entire place shut down. Now in my possession, my base, mine. I can go to P menu, 
I'm going to main, I can go to manage my fuel. I'm going to go one, what was it, one, six, seven, one. Extract all of that, thanks. Go and take the oxygen, two, two, hang on, two, three, four, two. Withdraw that. Marvellous. Um, take these generators. As well. Let's take these now. I mean, I got a multi-tool. Multi-turret on these bad boys, but... I'm here anyway, I may as well take them. Decompressing oxygen will be removed. There you go, that is dead now. It has no power. The doors won't open for me anymore. It has nothing. It is nothing. And all of this is armoured concrete, which is good. I can use that to expand my own base, which is nice. Um, and the great thing about the multi turret is that uh, it's so powerful that it will take them down in one hit. I don't think there's anything that lasts two hit from a multi turret. That's why it's so so awesome. And it is limiting in its kind of like if you need to move, you need to move the entire bleeding vehicle to get something from it. But you know, whatever. Here we go. Now I've actually put the core in. <laughs> I should be able to uh, start taking this thing apart. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. All right, there we go. Let's take it down from the top. Top down. This is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, hang on. Now, have I done something, again, rather stupid? Um, here. Why are you doing this? Is this... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think this is going into my backpack. Yeah, um, which I have no space. Yeah, let's put it in here. All right, plenty of generators. But also, I think actually what I need to do here is create a harvest box and place this somewhere in the tank. Because uh, actually, as you as you um, as I mine that out, as well as I multi-tool that thing, I need somewhere to place all the parts. So that's um, I have no idea where I'm going to put this. Isn't really worth anywhere to put it, so I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it there. Better than nowhere. Nope. Take three on multi tool access. There we go. That's not spitting bits out. And yes, yes, now I'm gonna lose some blocks. It's fine. Fine. Okay, I'll see you in a little while when this thing's looking a little bit more sorry for itself. Ah, man, <laughs> the multi tool uh, on a hover vessel is is a, is a lot quicker than a handheld one, but damn, ah, uh, still takes it out of you doing all that digging. Uh, through through, uh, through a base. But let's let's see what I managed to get. So we're taking the entire top half off um, of the base there. Now I have to do the hard the hard bit is the bit underneath it. But um, that's what we've managed to get so far over a s two stacks of armored concrete, which is nice. Some hardened steel too, and various odds and sods jumbled in there as well, <laughs> including an ATM apparently. So that's good. Um, so let's see if I can try and get the HV parked in such a way that I can get a downward angle into the base. And I think I can. A good one. Maybe I can use this. Now, the problem with the multi tool is, you know, one of the limitations, I should say, of the, uh, the multi turret is its range. Um, for obvious reasons, it doesn't have unlimited range. Um, so you do have to kind of the POI, especially one this big, and this is a relatively big one. You do have to keep moving around, 
And I was wrong. What I said earlier as well about this thing being able to take down armored concrete in a single hit, it doesn't. It does take two hits, uh, even with this thing. So bear that in mind if you are setting out on a, on a mission to take things apart. You can zoom in as well. And um, the range isn't too bad, but you can see those cargo boxes which are in, like, I guess one of the final rooms before you have to go up to the mainframe. I think that's where that is. I can't reach those. So we'll have to move in order to get... I can reach that one. Not the ones that are further away. So we'll have to move, but I'll, I'll dig into the base. Hello, Gizmo. I'll dig into the base a bit with this. And I'll move the the hover vessel around as I go. And I have been losing blocks like that. There's just seems to be nothing you can do about that sometimes. Uh, with something this powerful. But yeah. There we go. We're getting we're getting a good haul of stuff from this thing. So you know, if you do pick up a multi tool uh, this early in the game, it is a very nice thing to have. It's just such a resource. Um, it's such a rich resource source to take down an entire POI like this. Getting so much armored concrete from this, you know. I'll just use this to build up my own base. Ammo box there. That was nice. There we go. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on doing this. I just wanted to give you a kind of idea of what this thing's all about, how it works, um, what its good points and bad points are. There are very few bad points. Um, the range is an inconvenience, but it's you know you know why. <laughs> Otherwise, this thing would be so OP. Uh, it doesn't use any fuel packs in terms of like you don't need to fill it with multi-tool packs It just runs on the, the fuel of the ship and you can see in the bottom right I'm using 16% power And whether I'm firing it or not uh, It uses the same amount of power so just be careful when you mount this on your hover vehicles when you're not using it You'll want to turn it off via the control panel because it does it Does take the power even when you're not using it it still uses it. So anyway, yes, I'll uh, I'll continue with this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I tore that place down, pretty much back down all the way down to the rock. I got another two stacks of uh, armored concrete out of that. I also picked up a Promethean deposit as well. It's basically a lot of drilling and digging and stuff. But I'm home. Home, sweet home. Back to find a dead minigun drone just around the corner. That's always good to see. Uh, this uh, multi turret is going to be great for taking this uh, MS Titan apart as well. So that's good. And I'm going to power her off and give her a much needed break. Um, first things first, take the stuff out of the fridge. Yeah, it's uh, the Promethean that I dug up there. I pretty much went through all my drill charges getting that, so I need to make, make some more, but that's fine because we got the Promethean to do it. So it's all good. Uh, let me just pop all of this into the fridge. Some of the devices I managed to get. Um, oh, let me eat something, actually. I'll have that pizza. I'll have that sandwich. I'll have that salami. Smashing. Um, some of the devices I managed to get from the base include, I think, I think they were advanced constructors. Have a look. Oh yeah, they were. Oh yes, they were. Two advanced constructors, which is nice. Um, some teleporters, which I'm not going to be able to use, which is fine. Um, seven medical blocks. <laughs> Uh, fridges and ammo boxes. I'm not going to use the fridges and things like that. So fridges, things like food processors, extra vents, armor lockers, that sort of stuff. I'm going to chuck all of that into the factory. Now with the uh, armored concrete here and steel blocks and the hardened steel blocks and the other hardened concrete quakey. How many, how many stacks is that? One, one, two, three, four, five. No, wait, I'm miscounting. Four and a half. Because that's hardened steel. Yeah, that's hardened steel. Four and a half stacks of armoured concrete. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Um, so yeah, I don't actually need anything. I'm going to place these uh, advanced constructors down, however, and I'm going to place them. I'm going to place. Uh, I'll place them both on this wall. Actually, let me think about this. Uh, if I put one there, and put the other one there. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And I'll, I'll put all this armoured concrete and stuff like that into uh, building the base. Building up the base. Um, I've got some, some ideas that I want to try. I want to put out there. And I'll transfer all this stuff into one of these advanced constructors later, I think. Because now, with this... Did I put that in there? I did not mean to do that. I can make enhanced weaponry. Which is nice. Which is nice. I do have the enhanced minigun though, which is one of my faves. One of my faves. I need to manufacture the weapon, the uh, ammunition for it, of course. But yeah, we should be good also to get on some T3 auto miners. Um, I might be lacking on the Zascosium alloy as the. Uh, the only thing there really but yeah um it's a case of organizing all of this loot all of this loot and there is a lot of it all these jennies i don't need those i might put one of them in the base um so they've got the generating power don't need them lots of pot plants artificial plant deco i'm sure i can find a place to put them <laughs> uh, yeah um, what do I need to do next? I mean, uh, with the protocol done, I mean, I do need to go out and find some Neo, some Sathium, Restrium, Zacosium sources. So I do need to go Warpy Warps. First thing I need to do is go up to the moon. I have EVA boost now, so I can go into space and plot around in space. There are some interesting POIs in space, so I might um, go up in the old nightshade here and go and explore that a bit see if i can find things like that. last time i found in the space was the um this abandoned mining ship which was an awesome poi i want to do that again that was great um but yeah the other thing that i need to do uh, i don't want to build the naganat <laughs> look at the sathium costs on that bad boy so we need to start a cv um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the 10 must-have blueprints that I did for Alpha 8. I'm actually going to bring in the Nomad ST. Is it the ST? I think it's the ST, which actually has a thousand Sathium requirements, but yeah, it's the ST, not the XT. The XT is the level, the more advanced one, the bigger one. This is a nice ship. This is a nice ship. It's, a lot, it's a, quite a bit more expensive than the Pioneer, though. And the Pioneer does essentially everything we need it to, but the only thing the Pioneer doesn't have over the uh, Nomad grow plots. It's 54 steel grow plots in that bad boy. So, yeah. Do I need grow plots, though? This is the thing. I'm not sure if I do. V2. Oh, the V2 is the advanced pioneer. This thing's got lasers and stuff. That's crazy. Right. I might stay with a pioneer in that case. I might stay with the pioneer just because of the grow plots, really, more than anything. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I was going to use the Junker Moon Shuttle. I am going to get the Junker Moon Shuttle, but I think the Neodymium is better placed at this time in trying to get uh, the pioneer. I will get the Junker Moon Shuttle because that thing's going to be really useful for getting my drill around the planet and the moon um but it's pioneer because this thing this thing is just it's so efficient i will put it on the workshop when i bring it in i won't put it on the workshop just yet but let's let's put this in the factory for now and work towards that and chuck in a couple of these generators to there that's just speed up production i'm gonna put one of these generators in the base as well uh to replace the current one um i'm gonna have to reorganize this whole area it's kind of like my power and fuel area let me just put that there 
take this out, take those out, and I might put some more fuel tanks in around here. Uh, I don't think the base really needs it. It's running on solar power at the moment, so it's fine. But you know, backups and all that. So there we go. That's where we are. That's where we are. It's all good. And it's just a case of organising all this stuff now. Putting it in the relevant box. I don't know why I keep going into tab when I come out of. I just, I just do. For some reason. Ammo. Fuel. Right. All right. Well, I think that is. That is an episode, to be honest, isn't it? I've got lots and lots of loot to get be getting on with, sorting out. And I need to sort out also the entrance into the demon because apparently uh, it's not very good. We got all that loot and all that. Pretty good haul. Pretty good haul. I got lucky by getting the multi turret. I got lucky there. That wasn't a, that wasn't a given. So that was pretty good. I didn't get the boosts that I wanted. I got lots of boosts. You've got the EVA and the Maltese jetpack. No mobility. I quite like a mobility boost. And I would have liked another armor mod or two. So that's a bit of a shame. But, oh yeah, we got all that stuff in there as well. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to call it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh, I do need to repair this thing. That's another thing that's on the list to do, isn't it? I don't have a repair bay yet either. So this is a manual repair. Anyway, <laughs> I'll add it to the list of to-do stuff. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.